Welcome to the greatest portfolio of project processes your eyes will ever see. Just kidding. It's pretty mediocre. The major assignments that are touched upon are the Make Something of Yourself Photoshop project, the Psychedelic Record album cover, the Impossible quiz, Spot the Difference, and the awful, dreaded, sent from hell pen tool assignment. Eh nah, it was alright. The cut to the chase was left out of this video, but here's a quick summary for those who missed out. So, let's begin the portfolio by starting with, um, uh, the Make Something of Yourself project. In this assignment, the subject was to use Photoshop's various tools in order to make themselves into something better, something you could never achieve in real life. Which, according to my own finished project, I've always wanted to be the flamboyant love child of a unicorn and... Satan. Though the offspring of a unicorn and Satan turned out to be pretty decent, the road to this beauty had some major bumps. Personally, the most challenging part of this project was the overall cleanup, making sure everything blended nicely, put together, as well as layered properly, and the general praying to God that it didn't look like it was done in MS Paint. Without my good friend's tablet and pen pressure, the job was made difficult, but alas, I prevailed by adjusting myself to the mouse, planning my future steps, and zooming in 700% to remove imperfections pixel by pixel. It actually worked. After a while of work, I finally came to my finished project. Of course, there are always things to improve upon, such as the unnecessarily cluttered neon look the overall composition has, but I feel like there's more good than bad. I enjoy the variety in colors, as well as the general face editing, but my favorite part of the piece is the stock choices I use, such as hair, horns, and eyes. Let's get this one out of the way as soon as possible. The dreaded pen tool assignment. The process is simple. Use the pen tool to outline and cut out the main subject from a series of images. The main issue I faced, along with a lot of other people, I'm sure, was that the tool itself was overcomplex and slightly glitchy if not used with 100% accuracy. It was especially frustrating to use the tool if the user had another, easier solution to the image cutting problem. <coughs> Me. Tackling the problem was simple. Just a lot of patience was required, and if you don't have that patience, well... <clears throat> I cheated. Sorry. Issue aside, the final product looked decent with the cleanish edges, and what I would like to improve on is actually learning to control the curve on the tool. And that's all that needs to be said. It wasn't the most creative project, but it still existed. Next up is the psychedelic album cover. The project was to design a trippy, you guessed it, album cover. It should include a bust and a full body photo of band members, along with a band name and a list of songs on the back. The most challenging aspect, as a white teenage girl, was choosing the photos. No joke though, that out of all was most difficult because of the one big factor of composition. Some major pre-planning was needed to be done in order to overcome this problem. Figuring out the layout before taking the base image needed to come first, then checking that no hair was out of place and that makeup was on point was next. Seeing the project after it was finished, I definitely think that it could have improved with the psychedelicness of the cover. My favorite part of the resulting cover was choosing out and formatting the name of the band and the songs on the back. Comic Sans is everybody's favorite choice, just like the Vladimir Putins when choosing your favorite band. Ticket sales go on between July 5th and July 10th for the August concert in Toronto. Pre-order the newest album today on thevladimirputins.com and don't forget to buy the Vladimir Putin's merch such as the Vladimir Putin's t-shirts, handbags, and kites. The Impossible Quiz, in my opinion, was the most fun to make, but one of the most annoying to deal with. Thank you, Flash! Remembering to code every page, every animation, and every button was the main pain in this one, as well as a bit of the actual animation process. But the problem was easily sorted when I realized nothing worked when I tested the movie. When I finished the project, I was very happy with how all the images and animations turned out. I'd say they're clean, they make sense, and they're creative. However, I could have improved on something, such as music, because that did not make sense to me at all. And due to the nature of the quiz being half Cothra related, putting it on new grounds where no one is from Cothra wasn't such a great idea. Last but not least, the Spot the Difference. This project was simplest and most laid back. The purpose was to make a classic Spot the Difference game by putting the same image side by side and only altering one. 
My favorite part of the project was the ability to fool around and create as many easy or difficult differences of my choosing, and honestly, there wasn't a single challenge I faced while creating this game. Photoshop is an easy program for me to manipulate, and the simplicity of the project made it even more simple. However, even without the challenge, I still feel like I could have improved the final piece by adding in even more extra differences and camouflaging them better. And that's all the four minutes of torture and complete immaturity is over. You are free to close the media player. Thank you for watching against your will. I will remember your sacrifice.